The EU states that 90% of the children in Uganda are reported to experience physical violence and close to 40% of the violence happens at home. Now the EU has committed 2.3 million euros for interventions in Uganda's northern region aiming to combat silent violence against young children in post-conflict areas. The European Union is, is supporting with 2.3 million euros uh, to support your priorities, your commitment, your energy and, and, and your plans. The issue of maternal health is also one of the problems affecting the society. The EU ambassador, Christian Schmidt, has asked Ugandans to use family planning and have children they can look after. Not that uh, there's anything wrong with being pregnant, but maybe two or three times is enough. Uh, four and five and six is perhaps uh, where it gets uh, difficult for the mother to, uh, to keep going. In the same vein, the government has been urged to amend the Children's Act as this will cater for the emerging protection issues. I do think that um, all of us have this collective responsibility to make sure first those legislations are there, but more importantly that they are implemented. In partnership with other projects like Action Aid and Plan Uganda, EU has managed to combat child rights violation due to gender, disability and traditional norms. But there remains a lot to be done. So while we celebrate uh, the 20 years of the Convention of the Rights of Children today, we also have to realize that we shouldn't celebrate that we have achieved what we promised. That is not today's celebration. Today's celebration is that we are committed and must keep working to keep that promise. This as the world commemorates the 25th anniversary of the UN Convention of the Rights of Children. Shilat Simemugisha, NTV.